Like it or not, AI has changed blogging forever. In this video, I want to walk you through exactly how AI is changing blogging today, though. I'm going to show you the ways that I use free AI tools to enhance my blogging efforts and, more than anything else, publish more great content faster. I'm Ryan Robinson from ryrob.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use AI in your blogging workflows. Let's jump in. So let's say I'm a personal finance blogger, and I'm not quite sure what I want to write about next. Maybe I'm just feeling a little bit dry on inspiration, or I want to take a topic that I'm curious about writing about and turn it into something interesting. I'll turn to AI for that. So you can head over here to my blog where you can grab these tools for free, ryrob.com slash tools. Now you'll land on this page where I have more than 20 plus free blogging tools and I recommend starting with the blog idea generator. So taking this example, let's say I'm the personal finance blogger and I wanna write about how to save money. So let's type in how to save money into this blog idea generator and then click the generate topics button. And what's happening behind the scenes here is that we're sending this prompt, this request over to the OpenAI API database. And so it's producing these results we see right here. Practical ways to cut your monthly expenses in half, creating a budget, saving money on groceries, lowering utility bills. There's some really interesting stuff here. And what I like most about these AI tools is that this right here, we've got 20 or so different blog post ideas. That's that's more than a month's worth of content for most pretty active bloggers. So this is a great way for AI to step in and really help fill some gaps in your editorial calendar. So I'm really into travel personally. I like this traveling on a budget how to see the world without breaking the bank. That's an awesome title, but I wanna do a little keyword research next. So I'll take this core topic of budget traveling and I'll just come back over here to my free tools dropdown and you'll see one of the first ones is my keyword research tool. So we'll click on keyword research and take that seed term, that core idea that we got from the idea generator and we'll say budget travel. And we'll go ahead and hit submit. And there we go. Right away, we got a bunch of keyword research backed um, ways to approach this topic of budget travel. So budget travel Ireland, that's interesting. That's really specific. Uh, low budget travel destinations. I like that, but the volume's pretty low. Um, I do like that the difficulty is low. We built this tool to give you a really good idea of your capability, your capacity to rank for a keyword phrase based on this difficulty right here. And so when you see something that has somewhere in the neighborhood of 500 to say a few thousand in estimated monthly search volume here, like this example, travel Europe on a budget. 880 estimated monthly searches. That's a pretty substantial amount. Often keyword research tools will also underestimate how much search activity is going on because these tools are never exactly perfect and these things are always fluctuating and changing in real time. So when I look at this, I think, okay, about a thousand people a month, maybe more, are searching for how to travel Europe on a budget. And it suggests that the difficulty is low for this. Now I'll take these things with a grain of salt all tools. You don't want to rely completely on them to inspire your content creation process. However, I would say that this keyword phrase is probably somewhere in the low to medium range. And maybe that difficulty fluctuates over time as well. But what I like here is that this is in the sweet spot of a really good amount of monthly search volume at a low to medium, most likely difficulty. So travel Europe on a budget. I love that. I'm going to say this is the one I want to write about and I'll go ahead and then click this idea, this light bulb right here. And what I love about this free tool that we built is that it gives you a ton of different ideas and ways to approach the topic, right? So using our idea generator, we identified a really interesting topic for my personal finance blog as someone who also enjoys travel. We came over to the keyword research tool and we figured out Ooh, traveling Europe on a budget is a really interesting topic. And to me personally, I love Europe as well. So I want to write about this. Now, let's just say we're not exactly sure how to title this post. What I'll go ahead and do is click on the example here that is most interesting to me. And I think how to travel Europe on a budget, that's the one 
I'm a really big fan of how-to style articles, so this is something that I really gravitate toward, but you've got a lot of options you can see here. There are tons and tons, you know, even something like, can you travel Europe on a budget? That's an interesting way to approach this topic. Maybe that's actually the way to approach it for SEO purposes. But again, I'm a sucker for the how-tos, so I'm gonna click how to travel Europe on a budget, and that's gonna take us over to my free blog title generator tool. So it preloads that term. You're just gonna click generate ideas. And now we're gonna get a bunch of really curated blog headline ideas based on this topic of how to travel Europe on a budget. So here we go. We've got about 10, right? Hidden gems of Europe, budget-friendly attractions. That's interesting to me. Exploring Europe on a shoestring budget, that's cool. Budget-friendly Europe, how to make your money last. Interesting. I'm gonna go back to this one I really like. Hidden Gems of Europe, best budget-friendly attractions. And I'll probably make this a listicle. I'll, I'll say how many budget-friendly attractions, but because I like this, I'll copy this title. And then what I'll often do from here is plug it into my blog outline generator. So coming back to tools, we'll navigate down to the outline generator tool. We'll go ahead and click on that. And then I'll paste in that headline that I just had and I'll click generate. Now, I like using AI to generate outlines because this is another area of my personal content creation process that I don't often derive too much energy or joy from. Occasionally, on a topic like this, let's say, I'll have a way that I want to approach this, right? I know the destinations I'd like to talk about because they are my personal favorites, but here we go. This is a great example of why these tools are great. We get some examples in here that I may not be as aware of. Porto, Portugal. That's a really interesting place that I haven't been, but I have heard it is a very affordable destination. So oftentimes these tools will highlight gaps in your knowledge and fill in some blanks for you where you may be able to save some time on research, right? Now, once I've generated an outline, I'll come back over here, I'll click this copy to clipboard button that copies the entire outline. And I usually like to start my writing process with the outline directly in WordPress, sometimes in a Google Doc. So you could copy that outline, you could put it in a Google Doc if you're planning on collaborating or sharing with someone else. Or if you're like me, you can pop directly into your WordPress and just go ahead and hit add new post and then just click the paste right here and it pastes in that entire outline. I'm gonna just move the title up to the title section. And there we go. This is the place that I usually begin my personal writing process from with an outline, with something that's keyword researched, with a title that comes from AI that gives me really some inspiration, some direction, some guidance, helps me out with a bit of research. And then I step in and I do my writing process. I personally don't love using AI to generate full articles anymore. I experimented with that a little bit and I decided it wasn't for me, but maybe it's for you. My only advice, if you generate full first drafts of your articles using AI tools, whether free article generators like the one on my blog or something inside of Write Blogger, you want to add your own personal style, your voice, your tone, your examples, your life experiences into the content before publishing it. AI will never be a replacement for you as a writer, as a blogger, as someone who has a story to tell, a life's worth of experiences that you wanna to bring to the content you are creating. So keep that in mind. AI is not a replacement for an author, for a blogger, but it can help you out along the way so that you can create more great content faster. Now, I wanna note that you can use all of these free blogging tools on my blog, completely free of charge, no strings attached, you don't need to create an account, sign up, do anything. All that we'll be limited to is using these tools a few times every day for free. I have to limit the usage because they're so popular that they cost me too much otherwise. And if you're getting a lot of value out of these tools, what I'd like to invite you to check out is WriteBlogger. When you scroll down a bit, there's this Try Write Blogger button. WriteBlogger is my platform of over 60 AI-powered blogging tools. This is one of my most proud projects that I've built because 
These are the exact tools that I wish I had when I started blogging at a price point that I could actually afford. You get unlimited access to all the tools inside WriteBlogger. We're constantly adding new tools and improving the platform as well. But again, no pressure. Get the most value you can out of all of my free tools first. And then as you decide which ones are right for you, come in, check out WriteBlogger, see if it feels good as well.